Hey guys, Wells Knight here, bringing you a brand new series. This is Subnautica, an early access game by Unknown Worlds, a little indie developer. And I've been following this game for a little while, and it looks really awesome. It's a survival game that takes place underwater on an alien world. Kind of like if you took uh, Stranded Deep and put it underwater and messed, messed it up with The Little Mermaid or something. I don't know. But we're going to start a new game, Survival mode and uh, we are going to give this a try. I will shut up for the cutscene. In the late 22nd century, humanity is beginning to colonize space. Before colony ships arrive, habitation vessels are appointed terraforming missions. The Aurora was one such vessel. During its descent, the Aurora was struck by a mysterious energy pulse resulting in catastrophic hull failure. A single life pod jettisoned prior to impact. You were in that life pod. All right, so there you have it. Now, as I said, this is an early access game, so it is not completed yet. It's about $20 on Steam right now, and I have played it a little bit just to make sure that I wasn't going in completely blind and that I kind of knew what I was doing. So, very, very fun. Enjoying it very much so far. It is a beautiful game, as you can see. Uh, the music, once that kicks in, is also very well done. The first thing that we're going to want to do is we're going to want to start gathering some resources, as you would in pretty much any survival game. What we're going to want to focus on first is food and water. So, for food we need salt. And I'll see if I can find some here. It's not extremely uncommon. There's some quartz. Here we go, this is some limestone, we're going to want to break that because that's where we're going to get some uh, mineral materials, like emery, which we'll need for a knife. So we're going to want to break those and then gather them. To break things, it's just left mouse button, much like in Minecraft. There we go, we got ourselves some emery. Oh, th those things are bad, those things are really bad, they explode, ow. And I think this is probably not a cave that I want to be in right now. Let's get out of here. Now, your health regenerates over time. I don't know if your hunger and hydration have an effect on that or not. Here's some salt, finally. We'll grab that. And we'll break a little bit of limestone. We should also probably get some sand so we can make silicon. We'll grab a little bit more of this salt, and there are some nasty critters, you can hear them. Like that thing spits out some kind of toxic gas. Now these are peepers, these are a pretty good source of food early on. So we'll grab a few of those and I think we'll head back to the surface. You can see when you're underwater we've got this beacon flashing over there that represents your life pod. And that way it's easy to find, we got a little bit of copper. Haven't really seen any metal yet, though, and that's kind of disappointing, because I'm going to need some of that. There has to be some around here. Hmm. Looking for metal. That's the other thing that we're going to need, I believe, for a knife. And a knife is going to be used to gather different resources as well. But I'm not seeing any metal at the moment. I'm still looking. Yeah, oh, no, that's not. I thought I saw some there. All right, well, let's return to the life pod, and we'll do a little bit of crafting, since my food is dangerously low right now. And then we'll go back out and look for some metal. So this is the fabricator. This is used for crafting. And basically, it's pretty straightforward. You just need the proper resources, and then you choose what you want. So I'm going to cook up this peeper. And I've got two of them. It's just salt and then the fish itself. And then you hit tab to open up your inventory and you just left click the food to eat it. So that's pretty straightforward. We'll also want to make some silicon. And some glass. And then some carbon, which you make using those purple mushrooms that we gathered before. And then we can make a battery once we have the carbon. 
And let's make a little bit more carbon as well. That'll just kind of help us keep our inventory down. Uh, the compass we will take. That'll give us a directional heading. And I think that's it for now. So let's head back down and let's see if we can find some metal. Usually there's metal over kind of by where your ship crashed, which you can see over here. Uh, if you get too close to your ship, though, you'll get hit with some radiation and you'll get radiation poisoning and die. So you don't want to get too close. There's a little bit of metal right here. That's going to be very important. So we'll grab that. There's some more right here. And metal takes up a little bit more space in your inventory. Just grab a little bit more air. A little bit more metal. Let's see how we doing for space. Oh, we still have plenty of space left. Okay. Let's see if we can find any more. Metal's going to be used for tools. It's going to be used for making undersea vessels, which is the part of the game that I'm probably most excited for. We can make submarines and uh, observatories and all sorts of cool stuff once we get into the game a little bit more. But I've got some metal now. I think I'm going to do one more pass and then I'll head back. And then we'll start crafting a knife and some air tanks and all that kind of stuff. So we can get the survival aspect pretty much taken care of for the time being. Is that metal down there? No. Oh, that's one of those exploding fish. Those are bad. Oh, now right here. This is a part which you use to create new tools. It's kind of like a blueprint. It's a tool part, and there's like stasis rifles, there's all sorts of different things. So we'll be taking advantage of those as we go along. Not really seeing any more metal on the way back though, so I guess we'll just have to go without it for the time being. That's fine. Let's head back into our life pod. And now, we're going to make ourselves a tank that will increase the amount of air that we can hold and how long we can stay underwater. We're going to make a knife. That's going to be very, very important. And we'll make a sea glide as well. This will help us move a little faster underwater. Anything else we need? I think that's all we need for the time being. So we're in pretty good shape. We've got this sea glide. You see we can move a little bit faster now. So that's good. Let's see. Okay, so. Now as for water, now that we have a knife, we can start getting a reliable source of water. Let's see what's in... More emery. Don't really need more emery at the moment. What we're looking for is a fish. I, th I believe it's called an air sac fish or something like that. I'll know it when I see it. Hmm. There's a lot of cool undersea life. Different types of fish, different species. The developers have done a very good job on the creativity side of things. I must say. And this is a sandbox survival game. So there aren't any clearly defined quests or anything like that. It just comes down to basically surviving, which is one thing about this game that really appeals to me. I enjoy these types of games quite a lot. There's one of the air sack fish right there. So what we're going to do is we're going to take out our knife... Hold still, and then we're going to hit left, we're going to left click to slash, and we're going to get a bunch of these membranes. And those membranes can be used to craft water. Oh, and my inventory is full. Let's get rid of, uh, let's get rid of some of this random stuff. Open up some space for this metal. 
and I think we will head back to our ship and I'll show you how the water is crafted now that we've got those membranes remember you just use the knife on those air sac fish our hunger's getting a little bit low as well maybe we can grab ourselves a peeper on the way there's one come here peeper oh he got away once he hits that boost it's hard to catch him All right, we'll try for this one. No, he's going to get away too. All right, well, I guess we'll uh, we'll have to survive on what we got we have currently. Now you can also enter your enter your life pod from underneath, just like so. We'll go into the fabricator, and now that we have the membranes, we can make filtered water, and it works just like food. All you have to do is go into your inventory and left click it and that will restore 10% of your hydration. Membranes are pretty easy to get. We also have this storage space over here and you can just shift click things to put it in storage. Oh, I want my oxygen tank. There we go. So let's head down once more and see what else we can find. I'd like to get some food. There's a hoop fish. I don't know what that's used for specifically. We'll grab some quartz. We should probably get some sand. Sand, obviously, is probably the most readily available resource because it's just about everywhere. Oh, come back, peeper. I don't think I'm going to catch him. I think he's too fast for me. That's all right. Grab a little quartz. See what's in this limestone emery. And more emery. We've got so much emery. We don't really need that much. As far as I know, it's pretty much only used to make the knife. All right, I really want to get one more fish so I can restore some of my hunger. Get him! Oh, he's going to swim into a wall. Got him. All right, so we got ourselves a peeper. <laughs> and we'll grab one of those whole fish as well. And then let's head back to our life pod so that we can finish up the crafting come on now there we go and we're going to want to make some silicone we can use silicone later to make flippers let's head to our storage here we're going to want some of this salt so we can cook up these fish that we caught cook up the peeper and the whole fish and then we can eat those to restore some hunger there we go as you can see now we're pretty much good on hunger we've got a little bit more silicon oh maybe we don't I thought we did but I guess we used all of our silicon okay that's not a big deal I will take one of these membranes out and turn it into a wa into some dis uh, filtered water so that we can get our hydration up just a little bit more. And that should be good. So basics of survival. Food, water, you just need a knife, you need to catch fish, and you need salt. And that will keep you alive, and then you can get into the rest of the good stuff. Making tools, making submarines, making pipes, all that kind of stuff. I'm going to go ahead and wrap this video up pretty quickly here, guys. So if you enjoy this game, if you like this, if you want to see more videos of this game, make sure you leave a comment and leave a like so that I'm aware of that. I'm still trying to decide if I want to turn this into a full-blown Let's Play or not, and your feedback is very important in deciding that. 
You can also find me on Facebook, Twitter, and Twitch. There are links in the video description below, so check those out as well. Otherwise, guys, thanks for watching, and I'll definitely see you next time.